Yes. Okay. So first of all, uh, good morning to everybody and welcome to the webinar of the European Prostodontic Association. Today we have uh, on live uh, the two for ratio guidelines in fixed prostodontics, the part two, and we have uh, the great pleasure to have uh, two great speakers, uh, Stefano Lombardo from Italy and uh, George Papavasiliou from Greece. So uh, they have a presentation, a couple of presentations, each of them for uh, uh, half an hour uh, or 40 minutes. And then we have uh, at the end uh, question time and so uh, discussion. Um, I go to introduce uh, Dr. Lombardo that he diplomated as a dental technician in 92 and he received his dental degree with honor in 97 in Turing University in Italy. He's now a jump professor in the University of Turin, um, taking care about disciplines like restorative dentistry, fixed partial denture. He's also a jump professor at the University of Genova. In fact, you can see the flag of Genoa University in, back of, in the back of him because he's now teaching in these two days in, uh, in Genova. And uh, he's well connected with the Institute of Advanced Dental Studies in uh, uh, Boston, uh, founded by Dr. Myron Nevis and Gerard uh, Kramer. So um, I will not to lose time. Please, uh, uh, Stefano, proceed. And uh, we are really excited to listen to your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. Thank you to the organization. Uh, uh, I, I start to love this, uh, this association because uh, in a team before and uh, two days ago before the pandemic, I, I have a very real contact with the European Prostodontic Association in the, in the name of uh, Fofi, Camposiora, Di George, uh, Papa Vassilio, a friend now, not only a colleague. And uh, thank you, Marco Ferrari, for the presentation. Uh, um, Italian guys like me. So I don't want to lose the time and uh, I appreciate uh, the organization. Uh, we have uh, a lot of people, so I try to uh, share my uh, my experience in, uh, in 40 minutes. It's very hard, but I try to do uh, the best. Every time that we speak about fixed prostodontics, uh, we have to take in consideration, in consideration uh, a lot of factors, but uh, the biological and mechanical and the aesthetic components, it's really important uh, in our protocols. Especially for the uh, biological point of view, the, the study of uh, Dr. Redelov, uh, uh, he, he, he was with us in, uh, in Athens uh, three, three weeks ago. It's a really uh, a milestone for every prosthodontist because uh, uh, after uh, his study, we understand the the the, the importance uh, to remove the less is possible of our teeth. So every time that we prepare something uh, in prosthodontics, uh, we think about how many uh, grams or micrograms of uh, enamel or dentin we, we remove in that moment. So uh, this is one of the first point of view. We, 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 during the last uh, 20 years, every prosthodontics uh, are very more conservative than in the past. Uh, and uh, every time that we find uh, a full crown, we think about, oh my God, I have to prepare more than 60, 70, 80% of the crown. And uh, we try to do this uh, only at the end of the life of our patients. Sometimes it's not possible and we have to prepare. And when we prepare, we have to take in consideration, con we take care of uh, other aspects, uh, probably uh, some more mechanical aspect. Uh, we, it depends uh, every kind of preparation from uh, the kind of prosthesis, because uh, sometimes are partial inlay only or veneer or full crown, and other times are uh, the difference is the restorative material. So if you use metal or, or not. Uh, and uh, so the final design of preparation it depends uh, to many uh, to many um, things, but uh, the most interesting aspect of uh, the kind of preparation is uh, the margin, the final portion of uh, uh, the preparation. And uh, uh, for many years we discuss a lot of uh, is better horizontal or vertical, and the world of prosthodontics is uh, uh, 
uh, divide from these two kind of preparation. Uh, Pardo write, uh, wrote a classification in the 80s uh, that uh, in, in all the meeting we uh, we know this kind of preparation from from the difference in the horizontal way and the vertical way. In Italy, in our meeting, uh, we discuss a lot, and one of uh, the best representatives today, after the, uh, the historic uh, periodontal team of uh, Bologna, Porta Mascarella, Dr. Carnevale, Di Febo, Cortellini, all the men that prepare in vertical aspect uh, for many, many years, uh, in the last 10 or 15 years, uh, uh, Dr. Roy introduced uh, some, some different aspect uh, in a protocol, but not in preparation, more in the prosthetic aspect. Uh, and we have a lot of guys, very, very, very interesting guys uh, in the horizontal way. So we love uh, take uh, take care of uh, the, the aspect of these two kind of preparation. Uh, for Pardo, the difference is, uh, is uh, in degree, but uh, it's, uh, um, it's common think about uh, a line of a preparation of a, a thickness or a bad preparation every uh, this term um, we we use when we um, we we speak about an horizontal preparation other terms like a, an area or a feather edge or a, uh, or a feather knife it's not a, uh, the same thing when uh, we take a, uh, we use a vertical preparation uh, some aspect of these two kinds of preparation is uh, in about of precision. Many years ago, uh, important colleagues uh, described the, uh, the, the easy way to obtain more precision with the vertical preparation. Why? Because uh, if, you, if you think about our preparation, uh, our full crown, when we arrive to cement uh, at the final step, we don't do the best like on the master model if you think about uh, the imprecision and uh, if you take uh, the same imprecision with both preparation if you use a, a horizontal uh, technique you create a, a big gap and uh, instead of a, a vertical like a similar econometric approach uh, you can reduce uh, the gap so with this very simple and didactic way to represent the, the, the fast and easy way to reduce the marginal gap. Uh, a lot of uh, fixed, uh, a lot of prosthodontics uh, uh, sometimes use uh, this kind of preparation. But I think there, there is uh, something else. We have a classification with many kinds of, uh, of preparation. And from the opposite side, from vertical uh, feather edge at zero gradi and uh, 90 degree shoulder or butt joint, uh, we have a lot of intermediate kind of preparation. Of course, we cannot use every kind of preparation. We, we, we make a choice and in the, in the choice, uh, uh, sometimes we prefer a modified chamfer uh, like Massironi style, uh, 60 degrees uh, for the horizontal thickness preparation and uh, uh, something more similar to the Federation preparation approach. So every, every case, every prost, every our uh, uh, patient sometimes receive uh, 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 a full crown uh, and uh, probably uh, the more uh, typical aspect is a uh, retreatment because uh, in, in the new virgin uh, uh, teeth uh, we don't lose we, we try to don't cover the full crown uh, with a crown like in past uh, and uh, our uh, best um, uh, day in, in offices uh, do a retreatment and uh, every time that we do a retreatment we have to think about okay prepare or not prepare sometimes uh, we do uh, a veneer uh, without uh, preparation, so we, we don't have a line, we don't have a thickness, and it's really delicate to uh, loot this kind of uh, restorative uh, aspect. Other times uh, we have to uh, restore a, a full crown and uh, we, um, we do the, the classic fixed prosthodontics. So um, in both the case, we have to do a choice, vertical or horizontal, because if uh, we touch, with a bar, uh, our uh, tooth, we have to understand how uh, define the final area with a line, with a, with a chamfer or a, a butt or a shoulder, it depends, or with a federage approach. Remember that Marzuk in, uh, in the 85, so many years ago, uh, writing this uh, classic and uh, old book, uh, the operative dentistry that uh, we can do restorative uh, without preparation. 
uh, if um, the treatment, the chemical treatment of uh, the surface of the enamel of the dentin is a uh, is a preparation too. So if you can uh, introduce a, a restorative aspect uh, without preparation, but uh, if you have to prepare, you have to think about not only the mechanical aspect but the biological aspect. So where uh, can I put the margin? I stay extra gingival, yux or subgingival. Probably often, if we do full crown with metal, especially we do uh, under the the free gingival margin. So the classic piece of prosthodontics is a subgingival. How is our emergency profile? It's an uh, anatomical prosecution of the original profile, or is a completely new profile? So we we speak about prosthetic dominance, and. Uh, uh, in every case, we have to respect some biological aspect. It's old, but I think in prost we have to remember uh, the number of biology. Uh, we how many uh, millimeters have uh, of free, because the freedom of our movement in prost is uh, from uh, seven to one millimeter and a half from Bacek, Gargiulo, uh, say more hold uh, in more hold study. Uh, 79 millimeters, like a median uh, Vasek uh, some years later, uh, a little bit more. But the important thing is uh, respect, don't uh, invade and maintain during the time the epithelium attachment and the connective attachment. So the prost have, are able to play with the gingival sulcus. So in the gingival sulcus, we can do probably a lot of things. But uh, in, the, in the sulcus, we have to make a choice. And every time that we have a full crown, we say horizontal or vertical. And if we try to think about uh, our practice, uh, and uh, probably I, um, I study in, in the 90s and I finished my, 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 my prosto uh, at 1997. So uh, my mentors uh, uh, teach me that uh, in, in that years, uh, we have only a line and the horizontal preparation and my first case is every time i do a line but if i, I if i practice a, an horizontal margin in young i have one situation in adult another one and the old patients on the pair of patients another one because here i'm on the enamel on the tooth and here i'm on the root it's a little bit different for my first 10 years of work I don't think about this. I think only make a chamfer, make a chamfer, make a 50 degrees um, uh, like a Kuwata preparation or Martignoni preparation. But uh, I think only later that uh, I understand later that uh, if I have something young, something in health, especially from the uh, periodontal aspect, and I have to reduce my, my tooth for a, a veneer, for a partial or a full crown, Probably I remove only and I finish to work with my bar on the thickness on the enamel. And here there is uh, even the true of uh, these uh, two really amazing guys, the Professor Martignoni uh, and uh, Halvi Schoenberg with a microscope in the 80s. Uh, they try to do the best in the in the, um, in the in the emergency profile, but but in this case we don't do nothing new. We do only a respect of the uh, anatomic dominance of the tooth. So with the impression, we take care of uh, uh, taking an impression not only of the finish line, but uh, of the portion of the enamel uh, uh, under the preparation. And the, the technician do the, the simple uh, prosecution of uh, the anatomical dominance. And probably nowadays, it's even the same wave of work if you finish your preparation or enamel. But if you do a little bit more deeper in the in adult or in elderly patient or in the uh, in the per periodontal patient, uh, something is is wrong because uh, if the technician do the same uh, profile of the root, there isn't enamel uh, here. Uh, we do. Uh, a little bit of under contouring so we we go very slim and this is uh, probably the first step of recession of, of gingival recession so some technicians are able to understand the, the problem and create a, a, a little modify of the the emergency with a, 
uh, with the horizontal line too, just to protect and defend for the food impaction and the brushing of the patient to, to gingival recession. So probably is not over contouring uh, the problem, but probably is under contouring. But in the first case, when we have a, a young patient, uh, we can don't speak about prost. We are in a restorative uh, uh, world. If we prepare something uh, at uh, the end of uh, enamel, but we are in the thickness of the enamel, like in this, uh, in this video, and uh, we finish our veneer, our full crown, whatever you want in the enamel, we are in a restorative way. So probably we put uh, the rubber dam, probably it's a really easy yuxta gingival uh, procedure of impression because with a very easy way in a, with, a, with a good material, like impression material, uh, like FlexiTime or Coulter that I use, uh, I use it from uh, 15 years uh, with a very flowable material that uh, going uh, into the deep of the sulcus, it's really easy to do the first step of uh, uh, treatment, impression. This is uh, our gold standard because after when we do uh, the, the looting, uh, it's not fixed prostodontis. This is not prost. This is a restorative inlay only uh, veneer. And we, when we try to isolate this um, with rubber dam, everything is uh, simple and easy and fast. Probably if we do a full crown like this uh, in a young patient, we have only to think about uh, where is the finish line? Because if the patient has not uh, her teeth uh, and uh, with, a, with a composite we cover completely this tooth, uh, uh, something for a full veneer or a full crown is a really uh, little different. But when we have to prepare this tooth, uh, probably we do a, 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 um, we do a build up, a pre prosthetic reconstruction, especially for the didactic uh, preparation. We try to do the, the, the finally uh, walks up or the finally uh, shape of the right tooth. And after we, we try to prepare. Uh, probably the, the patient can stay with a direct restoration too, but we, if you want to put uh, a prost, you have to think about uh, where finish my bar, enamel or root? Because if, if we finish in root, uh, I have a, a YouTube channel with uh, 25,000 people, uh, uh, everything is free. Mm, take a look of this kind of, of video is completely on my YouTube channel of uh, the step of preparation for vertical and horizontal too. But uh, uh, the important is uh, the bar is in the enamel. The, the, the junction, the epithelial junction and the connective junction is perfect, is intact. So I, I cannot do into the deep of the sulcus to destroy everything. I can stay there, uh, just uh, proximal, just yuxta gingival, and try to do the best for the step of uh, provisional before. And uh, it's very easy to relay a provisional with a chamfer line. And the cementation after, probably not all, not all the my full crown are uh, looted uh, under the rubber dam because uh, it's, uh, it's not so, so easy sometimes, uh, but probably if you do restorative, you have to, lose, you have to use every time the rubber dam. So the, um, the typical steps of uh, cementation with a uh, with rubber dam, uh, we know, we understand this, uh, with Marco Ferrari is a, a very big professor in Italy that uh, he, 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 he used a lot of the adhesion, but it is restorative. And uh, this kind of prost there is a, a, a very gentle prost because only sometimes we need the prost in the, in the young patient like this or like these other unlucky girls with a gastro alimentary disease and with a lot of dysfunction in the neatologic way. And sometimes we need a full mount rehabilitation, but if we, if we don't use only an additive way with composite and we, we go to the second step of a full crown, we have to think about, okay, she's young and I'm on the enamel. Probably I try to do the best with the restoration in the, uh, in lithium desilicate or something else, but I try to loot with the adhesion to this tooth with or without rubber, problem, rubber dam, probably this case, uh, it's uh, a little bit more difficult to uh, uh, try to do the cementation with rubber dam of 28 full crown, but uh, we simplify something with the cement, uh, the self-adhesive cement, but uh, 
we try to do restorative way. This is not cross for me. We try to do uh, the best for the emergency profile, but for the maintain the vitality of the tooth when we can, uh, and, and the full crown or the partial crown, if it's restorative, is uh, uh, the, the teeth are uh, not losing uh, uh, their vitality. And the emergency profile is maintaining during the time. Other, other story is when we need a full crown, when we need uh, a retreatment, when uh, we don't have a young patient and uh, we don't have a, a young uh, uh, periodontal aspect, when we lose completely in animal. And sometimes we have to do surgery to uh, restore the biological weeds. Uh, so the surgical crown lengthening is uh, uh, in, in association with the uh, endo aspect of uh, uh, most of uh, our treatment is probably the first step of prost and probably uh, when we can uh, with a with a with a vertical approach uh, uh, induce uh, um, a, and create a new emergency profile we find this situation when we need the full crown probably we lose enamel this is uh, i think uh, um, my point of view if we lose enamel we have to redo a new emergency profile. And this emergency profile is completely different from the natural sometimes, but often. And uh, uh, he have only one reason. The reason is maintain, not invade, maintain and respect the biological width. Biological width, now we, 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 we talk about uh, uh, sopracrystal attachment uh, in, perio, uh, in perio group, but uh, the concept is the same, it's even the same. You can go even too deep into the sulcus because you have a, a lot of difficult to remove the excess of cement in implantology too, uh, but you have to respect and maintain this kind of prost. And you can obtain some, something different because if you try to do with this approach, probably every case that we do prost are not young, are adult or elderly. So for me, in the young patient, if you try a uh, vertical approach, you are in wrong because uh, at maximum you, you can do uh, a knife, uh, a feather knife, because you can do, you cannot do a feather edge, a really feather edge on the root, because if you do this, uh, you destroy a lot of uh, healthy uh, tissue, enamel and dentin, and a lot of soft tissue in healthy, epithelial attachment and the connective uh, uh, attachment. So completely different is uh, if you if you have a root, especially in the elderly on the perioprost. So if you find the root, you have only to remove the undercut, because if you try to do a federage on the young people, it's 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 a, it's a nonsense because uh, you can finish here, but you have a margin, so you have to redo uh, something. Uh, it's really delicate. If you try to do more deep. You can do something correct, but uh, probably you create a, a surgery uh, in a, during the preparation because in this kind of surgery, you remove uh, healthy teeth, you remove uh, healthy attachment, and you can create uh, a new space. So probably the federage approach on the young uh, people, on the young teeth, uh, you, you can find only in the indication if you want to uh, cover uh, a very strong discoloration or you want to move the parables without surgery in the very easy way what is the way what is is uh, this is the BOPT approach so the biological oriented preparation technique of Dr. Loy uh, show us to how to manage the, 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 the temporaries the provisional to create the space during the preparation this space is uh, uh, evolving uh, connective tissue and uh, when you have uh, uh, the new connective tissue you can move this uh, sometimes more happily, it depends, and a little bit, you, you have not invited the, the, the biological width, and sometimes you, you can go more coronally. But this is uh, uh, the new orientation of uh, the federage approach. Uh, I repeat, it's not a new kind of preparation. The BOPT approach, it's uh, a new kind of prostodontic uh, aspect. So uh, the prosthetic procedure for for the tissue stability or for the tissue movement without surgery. Probably if we think about, uh, okay, I prepare a federage and uh, uh, what, what's happened to the root that uh, I, I cut with the bar 
and uh, I, I try to polish with the bar, with a fine, uh, extra fine bar. And after, uh, what obtain here? Probably a long epithelial attachment. If you don't cover this root, uh, you find, uh, of course, epithelial attachment. There is some studies. This is a, a new in the in the in, in the SEPA, the, the periodontology in the in the Spain that uh, with the histological histochemica they they find the new cement and the new ligament. So it's interesting to try to understand how when you do uh, a resection, a surgical crown uh, uh, surgery, or when you the the, the, the dental hygiene with a curette, uh, every time that you touch the the root. Uh, you hope that you find a new attachment. Probably it's not even like this, but imagine how can you manage the different levels of parabola in a common way. Probably you take the, the blade and you create a, um, a, a, you create a sick in a, in a healthy tooth, or you try with a blade to cover this root, but probably in the past we, we, do, uh, we do a surgery and the resective aspects are uh, more easy to, to, to obtain the same parables. Probably with this kind of preparation, with the federage approach, uh, sometimes you can do a little bit more deeper, uh, even in control with uh, the supracrystal attachment. And probably other time, uh, you can uh, reach uh, a new kind of tissue in the space. And uh, if you are able to model this tissue more coronally, you can uh, reach a, a little bit of coverage of your roots. So without surgery, you can uh, organize your, your zenith of your teeth uh, in the very easy way. But uh, uh, don't speak about only BOPT because uh, it's not this, the, the, the topic. It's uh, horizontal or vertical. Because uh, if we take in consideration, in, in a, uh, we take care of our patient in, a, in an elderly age or in a, perio age because not, not even uh, we have an elder, elderly patient with a perio pro, uh, with a perio problem we have a younger uh, people too uh, echo in this case when i find the root i prepare a line and this line uh, with a, with a butt with the horizontal way are conservative no probably if i remove only the undercuts i uh, have a, a less preparation. So probably the line on the root is more invasive kind of a technique. So in the perioprost, in the patient like this that, that need uh, some treatment and uh, they lose uh, some tooth like uh, the lateral incisor and uh, need a coverage for this, um, uh, the vital teeth, but the problem is not this. It, the problem is the perio aspect. And uh, sometimes a retainer like a Maryland Bridge is not sufficient. The, 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 the patient would uh, change the aesthetic. And uh, sometimes we, we reduce the, the, um, the full crown. And if we take the bar, we have to think about, OK, I take a line or I, uh, I do a vertical approach. Probably the right is uh, don't touch too much. And the, the teeth are, are vital. You don't create a line and you reduce less uh, enamel or dentin. And after you can put your crown, it's an over treatment, I understand, but sometimes you, you, you treat your patient with a splint, with a full crown splint, and not only with a Maryland. And if you, if you do a horizontal approach, probably you treat a lot, you, you spend a lot of uh, material, and sometimes you lose the vitality. So sometimes you have to treat. Uh, uh, with endodontic approach, but sometimes you have to put a, uh, a post. Um, Professor Marco Ferrari uh, know how, how many times uh, we don't need a post, but sometimes uh, uh, you need. And uh, every every approach is more uh, is less conservative. So pay attention because we have to reduce the less is possible. And often we have uh, a complex cases because if we have a case like this, uh, uh, you know the, you need endo, you do you need a surgical endo, you you need uh, approach uh, with a with a surgical crown lengthening. Every time that you have this kind of uh, big complex cases, if you think horizontal or vertical, I don't think about uh, every day now for me these cases are vertical with a federage approach because with a provisional before and uh, um, 
and with a with a with a final crown after i try to uh, to do the best for my soft tissue but not only for the soft tissue because i i try to have this tissue during the impression without bleeding and this is the goal of the impression but i try to do uh, the vital uh, i try to um, have a vital fit when uh, when uh, are vital and maintain this without the horizontal preparation probably is uh, is it's really easy to to do a full crown a very very uh, important uh, treatment of uh, and the final treatment of, of the teeth without lose the vitality so i think the impression is uh, one of the most important thing in prost yes uh, first of all you have to prepare but the second thing is uh, impression and uh, if you if you take this video is uh, almost 2 million of of viewers in, in my youtube channel because uh, not because it's wonderful because it's interesting for the prost do uh, the right impression after is important to have a good technician because the good technician do the right emergency profile to maintain this work because you can do a right preparation and remove only the undercuts you have to not do a lot of things you have only to remove the undercuts and polish the surface after the provisional before and the um, and the final uh, restoration after have to maintain the stability of the suprachrestal attachment like i say before if you have a uh, a stable way in the new emergency profile very uh, very gentle in full ceramic and with metal free with a, with the zirconia polished margin uh, the the periodontum res, uh, response is this if you try to use a provisional cement uh, don't try every time because uh, often it, it it's hard to remove you are pay attention but I, sometimes I, I do only to to do a, a video for for understand what uh, what happens after one month two months of uh, provision uh, of uh, a full crown coverage in ceramic and not in a, in a, in acrylic resin and every time that i try to remove my final restoration to the federage approach every time i see uh, the same things i see the healthy uh, the healthy gum that uh, are really in a close contact with the ceramic with a very polished ceramic and sometimes when i remove especially in the implants i i, I broke the epithelial attachment so the the, the, the bleeding sometimes is not for uh, uh, for the, the inflammation but it, because uh, the epithelial attachment is uh, over the the full crown in the in the especially in the implant it's more deeper but this this very gentle papilla stay there and move like a flag with air of uh, of my instrument, uh, but stay there only for a few minutes uh, without frost. So the important thing is uh, the final shape of the gum is it depends only of the frost, okay? And after uh, we can take the follow up and that we can observe how a difficult case with a surgery with a lot of things uh, uh, maintain the stability around this uh, this margin this prost margin with a federated approach without line without a uh, uh, butt joint and uh, with a, a very good technician so every time that i, I have to prepare sorry uh, with a surgical crown i don't think about uh, it, it's another step if i have a um, a surgery uh, preparation i remove only the other cuts so in this case uh, the vertical approach the federage approach uh, are is able to do a new emergency profile uh, to maintain my surgery but it's very easy with without margin than uh, uh, with margin uh, even uh, a very difficult case like this with a resorption with a with, with a difficult uh, treatment and very young people but uh, uh, even in case with a, a very full disaster because if you want to maintain this uh, periodontal compromise of treat you have to do uh, you have to work in team because uh, here is the orthodontic uh, aspect uh, you have to uh, realign the the teeth can compense the the vertical dimension of occlusion and after only at the end you introduce the final stabilization like a splint a full crown splint but in this case is a perioprost case you cannot use 
horizontal line. Even you do with a, a vertical feather edge preparation and we try to maintain this situation. Every time we have to retreatment and we try to uh, change uh, without surgery this kind of uh, uh, spe, uh, spe curve or uh, this kind of uh, zenith parables with, uh, without surgery, we try with a federage approach and probably the first provisional, he lose the, um, he is not very perfect and uh, some, some blood go into the inside to in the interface from teeth and provisional and, and create a new vascularization. So keep in mind, if the, if the healthy periodontum find a, a free way, a free space, uh, there you can obtain connective tissue so with this uh, aspect uh, sometimes we we model our uh, parables our zenith sometimes we we do into the sulcus we go into the sulcus but uh, some other times we take uh, uh, we um, we create a, a root coverage because we create connective tissue and after we model with the connective tissue, tissue with the provisional this is the bopt approach and when we try the final restoration uh, we try to do the best because the technician do the new emergency profile. The new emergency profile probably seems uh, old over contouring, but it's not an over contouring. It's a new the, um, prosthetic dominance uh, that create uh, the stabilization of our case in natural and the implant too. So we have to control the invasion of the sulcus, and sometimes we go out, we keep out the our margin into do into very deep uh, sulcus because we want to remove uh, the excess of cement uh, in the easy way especially in the implant uh, supported uh, treatment like this so take care to the provisional take care to the impression take care to the um, the the, odont the, the dental technician uh, aspect of uh, this kind of uh, full rehabilitation because uh, this is the, the really important uh, uh, things uh, to maintain uh, in the long term uh, our prost. At the end of my lecture, I want to only uh, remember what is the advantage of horizontal uh, uh, preparation. Probably the thickness and margin uh, due to the dental technician, a thickness uh, for a porcelain. Uh, probably you you can obtain more retention because you have a, 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 para, a more parallelism of uh, opposing axis and walls. You you can obtain a great retention and stability with a very axial and uh, uh, parallel uh, walls. And uh, remember that uh, the margin are um, uh, within the uh, the anatomical aspect of the tooth. You are on enamel, so you have only in uh, uh, the, the the dominance, the anatomic dominance, and probably this kind of uh, restoration is a restorative, is not prost, and you can you are able to uh, looting with a rubber dam. It's very easy adhesive. Uh, obviously, I, I told before, if the margin is uh, very deep in the in your patient. Uh, you you can obtain with uh, this kind of uh, horizontal preparation greater invasiveness uh, be because you are indenting uh, and probably it's really difficult to create a, a right uh, specular parables uh, during the preparation it's a very technical aspect this but it's very not easy to do for the vertical aspect, uh, you reduce the marginal gap in case of incomplete seating. This is a, the reason uh, for uh, for use this preparation and obtain more precision. Uh, you, you are less invasive in patients with uh, exposed denting because you remove only the undercuts and probably you simplify your technique, uh, your procedures with the surgical or not surgical aspect. You can a little bit improve the feral effect and in a very fast and easy way, you can uh, um, align the gingival parabolas uh, without surgery, with the POPT uh, procedures. If you uh, want to uh, know the disadvantages of a vertical, uh, you can reduce the retention and stability, especially when you have a shorter button, because you have more conical, probably in the young patients. There, don't prepare on the enamel in the young patients and feather knife you are in wrong uh, 
so don't do this do a very axial um, and parallel margin with the parallel walls with the horizontal line with a vertical approach you cannot put the rubber dam especially for the full crown sometimes uh, in the in the partial crowns but it's not easy and uh, you have to improve the margin the 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 provisional adaptation so the indication probably uh, if uh, oops sorry uh, probably if uh, we we use vertical uh, we use this kind of preparation with the sub gingival preparation uh, on the root profile we are not on enamel we are on the root profile under the chain and uh, we need an artificial emergency profile a new profile is a prosthetic dominance in the opposite the horizontal i say i said before uh, you need uh, you um, you choice is extra gingival or uxa gingival preparation on the enamel profile above the chain and you uh, you have the natural emergency profile you have only to respect this so you have anatomical dominance probably if you have uh, a the vital teeth you are in vertical if you have a, a super crystal attachment system and a little bit aged you are vertical if you open a flap you are vertical and if you are in young patient, instead, uh, with a healthy periodontal, you are horizontal. It's a restorative, I repeat, for a, uh, another time. With a compromised teeth, the prosthetic retreatment, when you have exposed dentin, you are vertical. And instead, when you have a short abutment, you have to improve the parallelism of the opposing, opposing uh, axial walls. Probably you can try to do the horizontal way to obtain more retention. You can do vertical with a partial metal restoration with bevel, like the gold uh, uh, partial crowns uh, when you use a uh, mechanically uh, looted, uh, but uh, um, probably you use a metal free restoration and uh, you want to use the rubber dam there, you need a line, you, you need uh, a thickness. And the last thing is uh, when the, in the perioprost you have many pillars of extended bridge uh, for that reason, of you, you can uh, obtain more precision, especially if you do a lot of um, uh, a lot of teeth uh, connected together. There, the vertical preparation is the number one because you reduce the gap in the horizontal uh, preparation is for a single tooth restoration. So I I think uh, uh, I try to say everything and uh, I finish my presentation. Uh, with four minutes of uh, delay so i think uh, i'm on time and i want to say thanks to the organization but uh, to my my staff and my my colleagues in my office because uh, every day i try to share my passion with uh, with my work so if you want to say something uh, about my video my youtube channel can you you can go on my social uh, or media or, or you can go on my website so i can uh, stop uh, sharing uh, of my screen i think george i think it's your turn okay perfect okay thank you thank you stefano for your outstanding presentation and thank you, uh, and then uh, we'll uh, wait for questions i'm sure that we'll have questions at the end uh, i would like to make a question to stefano very cl uh, quickly uh, can you Tell us what is the placement of the location, I mean, the location, the placement of your mar finishing margin. Uh, you already discussed about that a little, but uh, uh, how important is for you the position of the margin related to the gingival tissue? Yes, but the, the real important question is uh, uh, keep safety and stay into the, the, the free gingival sulcus. So generally, the, the sulcus it's it's really variable from uh, uh, from uh, half millimeter to one millimeter and a half. So um, we we try to do not um, uh, insert the finish line too much deeply. But uh, uh, if you have to mask a metal, for example, uh, you stay at at the end of the sulcus at uh, about one millimeter or or a little bit less but uh, but you have to to keep the sulcus and uh, if you if you don't use uh, metal you you can uh, uh, 
uh, you can stay at the, the half of the free gingival sulc. So to respect the the two millimeters of uh, connective and epigial uh, attachment and uh, not uh, um, not stay in into the completely deep sulcus, but uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you can keep only the half uh, portion for aesthetic okay. reason. Clear, clear. Thank you, thank you so much. You're and uh, yeah, you uh, all the participants will be able to see the presentation again and uh, is recorded. And uh, as any other uh, webinar that uh, are organized with uh, by the European Prostodontic Association. So I want just to thank George and Stefano for the great presentations. And uh, so please uh, sign, register now for the next one that will be in November 13. And the speaker will be uh, Dr. Poggio, and uh, the moderator uh, will be our past president, Fofi, that she'll do so greatly with this program. Thank you so much to everybody and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye. Have a great day. Bye bye. Have a good weekend. Bye, George. Bye, Marco. Bye. Bye.